Well, damn, those enemies look like they're going to be annoying as fuck. Yo, what's up, everybody? Jumping here, and I am back with some more Neo. This place looks pretty fucking epic, and I'm going to say that I think that this area is probably going to be one of the last missions. I believe this will be one of three of the last missions. I say that because all the regions so far, they've all had freaking just three main storyline missions. Now, one thing that's different in this episode, guys, I'm going to try out a katana. I've been playing around a little bit with a couple of the different weapons, and I actually really do like the katana. It's a lot of fun. It's pretty basic, though, I will be honest. Like, there's some moves that are kind of cool. I played with them. But, for the most part, I have no points, I mean none, into the katana right now. Because, I'm just doing it to level up my proficiency. That is something that I think you guys should go ahead and do. Because I figured it out. Because, at first I thought proficiency was going to pretty much increase your, like, damage with, like, the weapon, your attack speed, something like that. No, it doesn't really do any of that. The main thing it does is that it allows you to unlock free samurai skill points. That's pretty much it. Besides that, you can also unlock some of the samurai dojo training with the proficiency because it goes off of that. So that's really all it's meant for, but I do recommend getting that up for all your weapons because you can get a lot of free samurai skill points. Now, I went ahead and changed my build a lot, okay? I changed it a lot. Now, you might look at this and say, what the fuck, 55 strength? Well, there's a reason for that, and that is because I got kind of lucky with change to attack, strength A+. Plus. Guys, the amount of damage that strength adds with this spear is unbelievable. It goes like 3 damage for one strength, and then all of a sudden goes 6 damage for another strength. So getting an A+, plus is like awesome for scaling. Now for the katana, I got a C+, plus in strength, and that actually stacks, at least I believe it stacks with the default C for strength that's already on it. Because when I got the C plus on this, the damage of this weapon went up by 99 points. It was at 600 at first. Then it went up to 699 or something like that. Maybe 680. And when I maxed out the familiarity with it, it went up to 699. So, pretty fucking awesome to be quite honest. Anyway, I'm using the katana just to level up my proficiency so I can get some free points. I wanted to actually show something to you guys in this episode just real quick. One thing I would recommend doing is use the Book of Reincarnation. They're actually easy to get. It costs 800 glory at the Secret Tea House. So you can get a bunch of them. Right now I have like 20,000 glory. If you play co-op or if you play with randoms or you play with your friends, you're going to get plenty of glory. And then you can go ahead and buy the Books of Reincarnation. If you use those, you can respec anytime you want. If you want to play around with a katana for a while, you can do that. If you want to play around with some ninja stuff and maybe dual swords, or if you want to use an axe, whatever you're trying to do, you can do it if you just respect. And I would definitely recommend using those books of reincarnation. But once you figure out what skills you like for your playstyle, definitely, guys, I highly recommend it. Go ahead and just get those skills. Skip the other ones. Unless you're, like, extremely high level and you can unlock all the skills, don't do it. A lot of it is a waste of points. Just figure out what you like and then go for those things and it will save you a ton of points by doing that. Then what I recommend is go for the passives. Even if you're not using like that weapon, a lot of the passives will work. Like for example, with the axe, you get 100 life, then 50 life, and then 50 more life. So you get 200 life off this passive. For this thing, it has some amazing stuff. It has fatal blow damage. It actually goes up I believe, let me think, it goes up 15% just by getting the three passives here. There's another passive that's really good too, which is increase the damage dealt to enemies from behind. It starts out with, I want to say it's 9%, and then it's 3%, and then it's 3%. So it's 15% overall. That's really nice as well. And what else do we have here? This is actually kind of good for some weapons, not all weapons. Increase uh, damage of thrust attacks. I believe this is 15%. 
It actually is 12%. I take that back. It's 12% overall. This is not bad, but, you know, unless you're going to stay in low health, it's probably not that great. Same with the Chi regeneration. Now, this is better, I think, than the damage. Because with this, at least you're going to be able to dodge and get away when you're really, really close to death. And your shit will recharge really quickly. When you max this out, which I'm going to soon, you get 50% recovery speed when you're under 30% health. And for the dual sword, it actually gets um, close combat damage increase when an enemy has a full life gauge. And I believe it starts off at 10%, then it's 5%, then it's 5%. So it's 20% overall you can get with that. Really, really nice. It also has another one, which is uh, pretty much stamina recovery when you're guarding. That's pretty good as well. So that's what I did with my build. And let me tell you guys, it's been a lot of fun. It's definitely fun using a different weapon. And this place is on fucking fire. Like, seriously. Oh, fucking hell. I do like the katana a lot, like I was saying. But, you know, the thing is, I can see how this can be boring in a way. Because there are some pretty cool abilities. Like, when you sheep your sword and you can do some stuff with that. But outside of that, you know, at least with the mid stance, I, I believe... What stance? I think, like, the high stance has a combo move where you can hit R2 and do a combo. But for the low stance... Oh, look, a little guy. Awesome. For the low stance and for the mid stance, there's like no combo move. The only one you get is a kick. You get a little kick move. That's fucking it, dude. It's like, what the hell? Like, give me another move, man. I want to do some crazy cool shit. So, yeah, the katana's a little bit weird like that. That it doesn't have like a lot of awesome, amazing, like, combo moves you can do. Unlike the spear and the axe and... A lot of the weapons, or really all the weapons have combo moves. The katana is like really the only one that doesn't have a, a shit ton. So it's kind of lame. But overall, it's definitely an R1 spammer's dream. Like, you can just kind of like run in and just R1 spam away and stun the fuck out of enemies. And it does pretty good damage, especially if you can get the right stats on it. And that's even without any fucking heart. I have no heart right now. Let me show you again. I have no heart. I don't need heart, although heart is extremely good. At first, I was going for some heart uh, for the katana when I was using it. I thought, why not? But then I decided against it because I knew that I wanted to go back to my spear, and I wanted to have a build where I could use both the katana and I could use the spear, and that's why I went ahead and got the strength scaling on the katana, and I had the strength scaling on the spear. Now, down the line... I'm going to lose those abilities because the weapon, I probably won't be able to soul match it. It's going to be way too fucking expensive. So here's my plan, and this is what I would recommend to do, guys, okay? What I recommend to do is go for one of those abilities, and if you can get lucky, you can get like an A+, plus, uh, purple ability to change the attack. Let's say that you get body, right? You're a katana user, and you have an awesome katana, and then you get body. So you're like, fuck, dude. I have some body, but I don't have a lot because I go a lot of points into heart. Because let's say that's what you do with your katana build or whatever. Well, what you could do is you can just go ahead and respect, buy a book of reincarnation, and put like more points into body, or into spirit, or into magic, or into heart, or whatever the stat is that you get on there. Definitely put some points into there and have a blast. Like that's that's what I would definitely recommend to do. If you do that, at least for a while. You should be able to uh, use the weapon no problem. And it will, like, wreck face if you combine the main stat, like, for the spear. Oh, my God! Fucking hell. Like, for the spear, I'm combining body and strength. And it has, like, 800 damage. If I use it right now, I will just literally obliterate everything, guys. Okay, there's a little dude over there. And I have no idea how to get to him. Um, let me try to figure that out. Maybe you can climb on the wall or something? I don't think so. I'll use my spear just real quick. And you guys will see what I'm talking about here. Like, it, it's pretty fucking awesome. But that's one of the reasons why I'm using the katana. is because I'm a little bit bored with the spear, to be quite honest. I've been using it so much. But since I've been using it this entire playthrough, I probably will go ahead and finish it up. But yeah, this... Oh my god, let me back up a little bit. Maybe I'll living weapon. Let's do that, actually. Hello! Hi, friends! Nah, nah! Get wrecked! I actually should have used a Carnage Talisman. 
I would definitely always recommend using one of those when you go into living weapon because it fucking wrecks face and there's gonna be a guy over here let's fuck him up real quick little bitch all right you are down now that's pretty much that I do know about the infinite I talked about it already I believe a couple times the infinite freaking oh my god that's like an exploding barrel that's gonna fucking blow me the hell up the infinite living weapon build I know about that guys but I have like no interest in doing it because I just feel like oh god it's gonna make the game so fucking boring if you do that so no offense to you if you are doing it and you're having a blast but to me I just think that that would just get boring super fast like I don't know okay once again I have no idea how to get to that little guy so I think oh wait a minute wait a minute is it possible that I can get to him nope I don't think so what's the point of these ladders dude oh maybe just skip the fire the fire doesn't do enough damage to matter though okay let's fuck this guy up yeah I mean uh, this fucking spear man it does like insane damage like to almost all the enemies like the mid stance uh, just a little pokes and shit absolutely obl obliterate everything okay there was another little guy I seen on the map somewhere oh hello fuck you and I missed every fucking attack I'm trying to show this off look two shot of that guy fucking a all right let's go back to the katana let me see okay yeah there's a little guy right here I'm fucking blind I'm like looking for him oh god oh, excuse me Jesus Christ I'm getting a little bit of the hiccups and of course a nice juicy belt you know what I'm saying okay let's keep going over here I'm assuming that what I need to do to get to this little fucker is I need to go around that wall over there okay so it's, there's another little fucker over here go ahead and open this and let's come over here oh I see I can go down that's probably what it is hello oh there's a shrine over here um I guess I'll pray there let's do it yay oh hey I actually have a couple new magical items guys one is from the ninja tree and I highly and I mean fucking highly recommend it okay what it is it is let me see I don't know the name of it my bad let me check it real quick where is it okay it's this the quick change scroll what this does it's pretty much second win or denial you will not die if you use it it's like amazing okay definitely recommend getting this and if you don't have a lot of points into like your dexterity just go for like uh, some capacity and then I think if you go for one capacity and that you are kind of good and most of my points I have for ninja just came from like getting the different hair or whatever now the other scroll I've been playing around with that is absolutely amazing is the freaking sloth talisman now when I read this at first I thought it sounded good and I would want to try it well I went ahead and tried it and holy fuck nugget see what I didn't expect I didn't expect that to work on everything and I mean everything all the bosses are like affect oh that's totally deaf over there hold up there's gotta be some water around here right that's some bullshit okay is that death that's totally deaf down there wait but that's the thing oh I see I see let's go through the fire oh, I can open this up let's do it but yeah what was I talking about fuck I can't remember now god damn it I lost my train of thought oh yeah it works on fucking all the bosses like the sloth talisman so basically you use the talisman on a boss right and then when you do it they become like literally useless like they are so fucking slow that they cannot hit you now there is that little guy that is kind of driving me insane because you know what it you, yeah I see what it is I know what to do now what it is is that where the objection marker is I always say objection what's wrong with me guys the objective marker is pointing me to where I need to go and that's where that little guy is going to end up being so next big guy I see because normally this is what I've been doing and I've just kind of forgot right now is when I see like a big dude I just cast a sloth talisman at them and it pretty much makes them useless it works wonders with any fast weapon like um, I don't know the katana or the dual katana or the little like fucking 
ball and chain fucking weird ninja weapon thing. I don't want to even try to pronounce certain things in this game, guys. Like, seriously, it's a bad fucking idea. Fucking low stance is failing me on the stats. There we go. No! Fuck you, little fucking bitch! God, you attack so fucking fast with a katana. It's awesome. Oh, hello, hello, hello! Get... That, that's some fucking cheese, guys. Like, seriously? Super cheese. Now you need to be poked to death. Okay. Any little fucking guy in here? Oh, I'm going to fall through the hole. What's down here? Oh, there's a door. Oh, that's kind of cool. I guess this is going to be that shortcut? What's the point of this, honestly? Yeah. What's the point of having that there? You know, like... Oh, I see. Oh, I see it. It's a whole another part of the map. Okay, cool. Let's go on up here. Now, the thing is, I don't really know, like, what spirit maybe I should use for a katana. I'm using, like, the original one because since I'm using the katana, I just feel like there's just no reason to use the tiger. Because the tiger is really meant for the freaking spear or whatever. Or at least that little red demon build that you can do. Okay, I'm coming up here. It looks like there was a guy. No, I don't think so, actually. Looks like I can get down there. Alright, so I see these two little dudes. Let's see if we can figure out how to get to them. Alright, go behind here. Oh, I see one right there. Alright, I'm going to use a sloth talisman. I'm pretty sure I could probably shoot that barrel. Let me try that real quick. I should have some of those special arrows. I always forget about these damn arrows. Okay, that didn't work. Well, fuck me. Alright, let's hit him with this. And it actually has a really good ability. Look at this. It has a really great ability of, like, hitting, too. Because it's a, it's a pretty fast projectile. So if they don't see you or they're just coming right at you, you'll hit them every single time with the Sloth Talisman. There's been a couple times where I've missed with it. So it does happen. But it is pretty rare, to be quite honest. Fucking stupid shit, man. And once you hit something with that, they are, like, as good as dead. Okay, it says there's a little dude. He's up there. How the fuck am I going to get up there? Oh, I see. It's like a catwalk, kind of. Wait a minute. Is there a way to get out there from here? Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's try it. Oh, wait. No, I've already been over here. So how the fuck do I get over to little dude, man? I'm trying to come save you, buddy. Do I have to drop? See, I hate it when they do this. Like, you have to drop down from the top somehow. It's like, dude, really? Uh, this fucking asshole shooting me for days. Fuck you, bro. Fuck, die. And I missed the course. What are you shooting at me? It's like a double shot. Fucking barrel or fucking shotgun blast. He's using double barrel shotgun is the word I'm trying to look for here, for fuck's sakes. All right, well, I have absolutely no fucking idea. Look at this cheese, guys, right here. I have no idea. Oh, my God, I'm getting burned the fuck up. Dude, that was a total waste of time going through there. Oh, my God. That was a total waste of time and an elixir, which I'm going to have to use a second one here. God damn it. Okay, what's the fucking purpose of this area over here? Besides this little guy who's taunting the fuck out of me right now. Oh! Oh my god. I'm such a fucking idiot! How did you miss that? God! Here's a good one to use a sloth talisman on. Did I hit him though? I don't think I hit him. Oh god, get out of fire! Ah! Okay, okay, we're good. No! Fucking A, man! Piece of shit! Oh god, this fucking guy! He fucking wrecked me. Oh, that's kind of cool. Run through the fire! Oh man, I'm burning the hell up, dude! Okay, so the fire or the water really doesn't work because it starts to drain! Fuck off, bro. Wait, can I open this? Nope, it seems to be locked. Okay, let's go. Run past that bullshit. I'm going to use my spirit weapon, I believe, on this fucking asshole. If not that, I might use my... Oh, God! My second chance ability. Fuck you! Motherfucker, get wrecked! Oh, my God. I'm doing, like, so little damage. Oh, he pushed me into fire! Oh, my God! Now, by the way, guys, 
What's really useful about this, like, second chance talisman, you can use it to help get your stuff without dying. Now, the one trolley thing about it that you guys have to, like, see to understand. Fuck it. Okay. You got to get hit by a sloth talisman, please. There you go. Now he's going to be fucked, dude. He's going to move so fucking slow. Fuck you. There we go. Finally. But the thing about... What was I talking about? Ah, oh, come on down, you fool. Uh, yeah, this, um, second chance. I'm kind of tired today, guys. I, I gotta be honest. My brain's a little poopy, if you can't tell. And I think this is how I'm gonna get that little guy. Yep, this is how you do it, right here. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's really useful. But the thing is, is that when you die, you literally, like, just re- Oh, no! A chest! Alright, fuck that chest. I don't care. You literally just reappear where you died instantly. So you got to be prepared to run for your life because you will get absolutely obliterated if you don't move. Uh, because they spawn you in with like a little tiny bit of health. It's good, you know, it's nothing wrong with it. But it's still like, there's a good chance you're going to die in a boss battle. Now having like maybe two of these, if you can get two, that would be really nice because you could use one for like, well basically it's just nice to have more, you know. That's really what it's all about. Like, you definitely would like to have more, of course. Because it would make it easier. Okay. Let me go ahead. Open this. Thank you very much. Nothing inside. There's a little dude down there. I'm going to just jump down. There you are. Okay. I think there's only, like, one more left at this point, to be quite honest. Because we had that one that was behind that wall. You know, that might have been the guy. Oh, you little fucking dick. Eat that. Now it's time for you to get fucked. Eat my high stance. Oh my god, that high stance, though. Yeah, the katana high stance is fucking awesome. Like, it has a lot of surprising range to it. It's really nice. Come on up here. And this is a locked door. I can open. There's a shrine right here. Where am I exactly? Am I back at the beginning? Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. So this door over here was locked, I believe. There was another door that said it was locked earlier. I don't think I got the key ever. And so if I find something like that, I need to remember. Oh, fuck you, bro. Get fucked. Your turn now. You know, it's weird. These guys aren't really like, I don't know, possessed like the other guys were in the last mission. That's a little bit interesting because I guess they're just dicks and they're trying to kill me. You know, like the last guys couldn't help it. They were under, like, uh, brainwash shit. Okay, let's come over here. Oh, hello! Ha <laughs> ha! I love this talisman. It's so good. It just fucking destroys, dude. And I knocked your ass down. By the way, I think I figured out as well. And I, In fact, you know what? I'm pretty sure you guys told me this. I seen um, a comment about this. And then when I thought about it and I was playing, I was like, you know what? That was shit is absolutely right. Basically, the way you knock those fucking dicks down, like, instantly, because I was thinking, like, I wonder what that is. Is is that, like, break or something? Like, what could that be? How the hell am I going to get past this? You know what? Let's do this, maybe. Ah! Okay, we're through. But, uh, I was thinking, like, maybe it's, like, some hidden stat, because I really don't know exactly what break does in this game. I believe, like, what it might do is it could be how much chi damage you do like by default like the number itself is like your chi damage and then there's other factors in there that will uh boost that up or whatever let me come down here but yeah so i think that's what it is but i could be wrong but basically the way that works with those guys is that i believe when you hit them in the head like that's why the high stance works so good is because you hit them in the head or whatever and then they'll fall down because if you shoot them in the face with your bow or your gun they will also fall down. So, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Okay. Let's run over here. There was another little guy. Where was he? Okay, I can go down there. I see. This is how the... This would be your normal way of getting over here, I guess, without having to go through the fire or whatever. Where the fuck was that little dude at? Definitely want to find him. I know there was one somewhere I couldn't get to. I want to say he's over here. Yeah, he is over here. Okay. I see how to get to him now. Hopefully, I found that one that I was looking for that was behind that wall. This looks like the goddamn boss, though. I will be honest. This definitely seems like the boss area. 
Fuck it, let's go. Oh, God. What's going on? Oh, nope, nope. Oh, another area right now. Okay, let's go down this way. Hello? Oh, the music changed. Not good. Oh, who's in here? Hello? Oh, you fucking asshole. Get the fuck on somewhere. Oh, fuck. 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 Fucking die. There we go. Now, let me go ahead and come over here. Thank you very much. Of course, I don't have the water effect anymore. That fucking spear is actually super common. Like, I've been getting that spear so much. I never get the red demon armor, ever, like, as a drop. But I do get that spear all the time as a drop. So it's pretty nice. Fucking die. Low stance. Ah, no. Get on somewhere. Okay. Let's come over this way. I see the little guy on the map. Ah, that music is kind of... Ah! Fuck me, dude! Okay, wait a second. Do this! Oh, man, I wish I had my shit right now. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm about to get fucking wrecked on, dude. Hold up, hold up. There's so many fire barrels in here! Fuck! Oh, my God. I almost got him knocked down. Please fall down. There you go. I have water on my weapon. I think that helps a lot because this is a perfect place for water. All these enemies are fire. And here's a little dude. Okay, is that the last one? Please be the last one. Oh, you were not the last one, apparently. Well, fuck, dude. Oh, my God. Another fucking wheel. I hate wheels so much. Eat that, motherfucker. No. Right. No, I know. Get fucking wrecked. Right. The run attack on the katana. It's not a poke, but it's fucking good, guys. It's really good. Come over here. It's not pointing me over here, so... Check it out. What the fuck is here? Okay, I have no clue where I, I'm at right now. Let's come up here. Oh, little guy, little guy. No, never mind. <laughs> what am I talking about? How did this door get open? This door was not open earlier, was it? I don't think it was. Try to open that. Every fucking door is locked, dude. Like, how the hell would you get into that fucking room right there? This music is creeping me out, guys. Okay, I want to get back up top if I can. Um, because I don't feel safe down here at all right now. Here we go. Here's the staircase. Go back up. And is there anything in here? There really might be nothing up here. Okay, I'm just going to say there's probably nothing there. Because I did explore that a little bit. Now, I seen the little marker down here. At least I thought I did. It's telling me to go somewhere in here. I don't see it anymore, though. Where the fuck am I? I'm so lost right now. God damn it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the way back up. Maybe I do have to get back up top. I am so freaking confused right now. I just ran in a big circle. Okay, back up top we go. And I was doing some co-op. And it was funny because, like, so many people were, like, following me around thinking that I knew the, where the fuck I was going. And even though I played the level already, like, I totally did not know where the hell I was, like, most of the time. I'm like, dude, don't look at me. I had this one guy following me around for, like, ten minutes, uh, and I couldn't find where to go, and he couldn't find where to go either, but he was just following me everywhere. I'm like, dude, please, go somewhere else. I'm, I feel embarrassed right now. I literally did. I felt embarrassed. I couldn't find the way. It was actually in, I think, the last mission. I replayed it with co-op. But that's actually, like, the easiest way to get a lot of glory, if you're, like, uh, wondering about that. And glory does actually matter, because, uh, they have the little clan battle. Apparently, there there are going to be, like, rewards and stuff for that, so that sounds pretty awesome. And what else? I also heard that the percentage of whatever, like, you chose will gradually go up. I don't know what the factors are for that, but because I chose, like, 10% uh, more experience... And 10% more gold. That's actually really nice. I do... Sometimes I wish, like, I would switch it. But I really don't want to because when you switch it, I think you lose out on any reward that you would have got. Okay, I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Like, seriously. Like, this place just feels wrong to me right now. This has got to be it, though. Okay, it's pointing back inside. Oh, I see the purple. Okay. That's why I couldn't see it on the map. Because it was fucking purple. Alright, so it's below me, but how the fuck do I get down there? 
And I'm missing a little guy, man. Is it here? This is so fucking confusing. Yeah, the purple's not down here. At all right now. Is that a, it's up top? Maybe there's an upstairs? Oh my god. This gets on my fucking nerves. I'm sorry for this episode being so long. If I, if I continue to be lost here, I'm gonna probably cut this ahead because I know it's something really simple more than likely. Like, wait, nope. I keep looking at that like it's a doorway. Hmm. Through the fire. Nope. Just a big ass circle. I am so fucking lost right now. Hop on down again. And I guess maybe I can just keep going down. I want to find that one path again. All right. Well, I think I'm going to cut this ahead, guys, because I am so lost. When I figure it out, I will let you know. Oh, my God. I figured it out. Okay. So it was a little side path over here. Ah, that took forever, too. I was running around there for so long. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, tired right now. I said that earlier, but I really am. I hope you could tell. Okay, let me look around here real quick. will be some bullshit. Oh, don't fall down there. Uh-oh, I need to heal quickly. Thank you. This is definitely about to be the boss battle, though, here, here in a second. Just through this door. So let's fucking do it. All right, I'm going to use this just in case I die. Protection talisman. Stamina talisman. Yay. And a carnage talisman. And I'll use my sloth shit, too. Oh, wait. This ain't the boss. God damn it. No, whatever. I'm gonna fuck this guy up super fucking quick. Look at that damage. Holy hell. That's the beauty of the katana. Is it's so fast that with the carnage talisman, it wrecks so hard, guys. I guess everything with the carnage talisman wrecks, but... I think the katana especially wrecks. How the hell am I going to get up top from up here? Okay, they gave me water, so that tells me maybe I can do something with that. I don't know, though. I don't want to waste it. Is there a door over here or something? Oh, man. I'm fucked again. Like, how do I get up there, though? This is something. Oh, maybe I have to go to the other side. Let me try that. Maybe. Oh, nope, nope. Oh my god, this fucking place is so confusing. Is this the boss? I don't want to waste all my shit again. Antamo, <sighs> God damn, okay. Hold up. Hit him, please. Thank you. Uh-oh, wrong fucking thing, man. Hold up, hold up. Hey, dude, chill the fuck out. Stop shooting me in the face. Fucking dick. All right, he's slowed right now. L look at his attack. God, it's so cheap. Seriously. Since he's a human? Oh, shit. Since he's like a humanoid, I could probably knock him down with my spear. Oh, stop fucking flying, bro. Oh, I think the talisman might have wore off. It lasts for like a minute. Stop throwing shit, bro. Eat that. Oh, you're fucked now. Land for daddy. Thank you. Okay. Time to fuck your day up, bro. No, where you going, fool? Yeah, man, that talisman makes everything so easy. Ow, you actually shot me, fool? All right, it's time for you to die. No, you didn't die. Okay, come on. Come on, come on. There you go. Naha, naha. All righty, so that's that. Let's get the fuck out of here, finally. Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh
Nanjin Dono, Nazi Kyota. This castle will fall. Run where you can. Nario, you tell what are you waiting for? の夜殿とは根性の別れになることは分かっておったな幼き頃より今川武田という芸にも恐ろしき者たちと共に戦った間柄今更言葉などいりもさん殿が太平の世 Yes, you can! Just do it! If you're tired of starting over, stop giving up. <laughs> 